So guys, today we are going to be starting a new series and this series is going to be all about my top five everyday carry Amazon pieces of gear. And basically throughout this series, I'm going to be showing you guys some pretty awesome gear choices that I found on Amazon that uh, all five of these pieces combined cost less than $100 or it'll take you less than $100 to put this kit all together. And with this kit, you'll have a very well-rounded and <clears throat> a very well-rounded and really effective EDC kit for handling most situations and some survival situations. So as always, guys, before we get into this, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see this series continue anyways let's get into it so you guys can probably see by the title because you're not blind this is going to be about fire starters and this is going to be my budget fire starter and this is the exotac nano striker xl and i know you guys are probably already going to write in the description below or in, the, in the comment section below that the uh, exotac nano striker xl is not a very budget friendly uh, edc item and you guys are absolutely correct but when i was looking around for nano strikers and just kind of browsing amazon i actually found some counterfeit fake whatever you want to call them replica uh extra uh, exotac nano striker xls this is unfortunately not one of them because they don't ship to fairbanks alaska but they do ship to the u.s and so for most of you guys this will be applicable and useful knowledge but they those uh, counterfeit ones are actually under five dollars so these are around thirty dollars here the actual exotax but the replica ones that from what i've read on all the reviews and such function exactly like this this one uh, <clears throat> those ones are around four dollars and so that being the case I actually wanted to choose that for this EDC fire starter because I really like the Exotac Nano Striker profile one because you have your complete package here you have your striker here and then you have your uh, ferro rod slash kind of handle all encompassed in this and so you have the you have a lot of ability to strike and once again this is an all-encompassed kit here and so it being all contained that is a really nice feature of this so the other reason i chose this is not only is it all in one kind of uh, setup but it's also a very easy to carry setup as you guys can see i'm running mine on a necklace but you can also put it on a lanyard or just throw it in your pocket uh, whatever you want to do for easy carry uh, these are really adaptable and very easy to carry overall for an everyday situation. They weigh very little and they add that, a really nice and really solid fire starting uh, method to your everyday carry because I was kind of conflicted whether I wanted to choose a Zippo or the Exotac knockoffs. But the reason why I chose the Exotax is because unlike a Zippo where you're going to have to fuel it up, you're going to have to pay special attention to that <laughs> Zippo. It's overall going to be more temperamental. The Exotac is not that temperamental. It, of course, being a ferro rod, it will not run out of fuel. It also is not uh, really temperamental to water exposure or anything like that. So it's a far more reliable system. It's also easier to carry and it's something that you can just throw around your neck or throw in your pocket and forget about it and so there's really a really low maintenance to it and a really low cost and once again it's the cheapest on the list so that's why I wanted to go over it first and I also thought it would be an, a fitting start because I think fire starting is one of the most important things for everyday carry not that you will likely ever be fire starting on an everyday level but it's nice to have as a prep and it's good to be prepared with your everyday care what i want to get in the mindset of is having preps or just being you know lightly prepared you aren't necessarily having every single thing you'll actually need should something really bad happen but you have a few preps just like this one that you have the ability to start a fire if you need to and so that's basically why i chose the uh, ferro rod as the beginning or a fire starter as the beginning 
but <clears throat> that knits the cheapest of the kit. So anyways guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this quick look at the Exotac Nano Striker XL. And like I said, I'm not necessarily saying the Exotac brand one is what you should get. I'm gonna have a link in the description below to where you can check out the counterfeit one that is the most highly reviewed. And I technically have not used that one, but I looked at a lot of reviews and saw overall, it looks very, very similar to the Exotac Nano Striker XL. The only reason I don't have have one is because they will not ship them to Alaska so if you guys are in the continental 48 states they will ship them there but they will not ship them to Alaska so that's on these guys hopefully you've appreciated this video and hopefully this is a nice fitting start to this kit once again this kit if you do follow along I will always have a link in the description below to the item that the video is about if you guys want to check any of them out and if you guys do go ahead and build this kit along with me you will have or this kit will cost less than $100 subject to change because I do understand that Amazon uh, changes their prices or rather the different sellers who sell on Amazon change their prices so if you guys see this video in a couple years and you're like hey that thing is now double the price I can't necessarily help you with Amazon videos like this uh, the prices are always subject to change but for now and for the entire hopefully the entire series uh, these prices should all stay relatively the same maybe fluctuate a few dollars but anyways guys uh, <clears throat> this should be an under hundred dollar build and uh, I may if it seriously changes I may come back and revise it but anyways guys that's all for now God bless and I'm out